Imagine an AI that is not only understands images and videos, but can also operate your smartphone, control robots, and even play complex games. Well, buckle up, guys, because it's not future anymore, it is here now with Quen 2 VL. Quen 2 VL is the latest iteration of multimodal large language models developed by the Quen team at Alibaba Cloud. It represents a significant advancement in vision language AI technology, combining powerful image and video understanding capabilities with multilingual support and agent-like functionalities. First of all, let's check out what Quen 2 VL can do. State-of-the-art image understanding. It can process images of various resolutions and aspect ratios, excelling in tasks like visual question answering and document analysis. Long-form video comprehension. The model can understand videos over 20 minutes long, enabling high-quality video-based question answering and content creation. Agent-like capabilities. Quen 2 VL can potentially operate mobile devices and robots based on visual input and text instructions. Multilingual support. It can understand text in images across multiple languages, including most European languages, Japanese, Korean, Arabic, and Vietnamese. Advanced architecture. The model uses naive dynamic resolution for handling arbitrary image resolutions and multimodal rotary position embedding for enhanced multimodal processing. Quen 2 VL is available in multiple sizes. Quen 2 VL 2B and 7B are open sourced with an Apache 2.0 license. Quen 2 VL 72B is available via API. The model has shown impressive performance across various benchmarks, often matching or surpassing larger models like GPT-4 and Claude in specific tasks. Its versatility and strong performance make it a significant development in the field of multimodal AI with potential applications ranging from document analysis and content moderation to advanced human-computer interaction and robotics. For consumer computer that we use, how can we try this AI model? Well, the most straightforward way is running Quen 2 VL through Comfy UI, and there's a custom node for Quen 2 VL for 2B and 7B parameter size. Let's check it out. So here I have the Comfy UI, a new layout. And first of all, we can check the custom nodes manager. In here, you can type Quen, and starting with this keyword, you see a few of these custom nodes. There are two available for using Quen 2, which is the first one from Zojojo. This is the first custom node I saw when Quen 2 VL was released, but it has very few features integrated and can't really show off what Quen 2 is capable of. And the second one, which I'm going to use, is the Comfy UI Quen 2 VL Instruct custom node, which is capable of handling text, videos, and images and also multi-images by using this custom node in Comfy UI. It's more capable of showing different multilinguals and different features with these language models. Now this is not just a large language model, it's a visual language model in which you're able to process images and videos. And here's the basic installation as you guys can follow through with me for the after installations of the custom nodes in GitHub. And we have to type this dependency requirement txt installations and restart our Comfy UI server. And check one more time. We don't have any failed import custom nodes in our list. So come back to Comfy UI. We can empty our layout here. We start our own layout. But before that, remember to download the Quen VL models and put that into the models from the generator subfolder. So where is that located? It will be in your Comfy UI models folder and you create a new folder called Prom Generator. And after that, you put this Quen VL 7B instruct subfolder in here and start downloading those files from the Hugging Face repository. Then there are workflow examples in the custom nodes that you can play around with and it's also got another custom node required to install 
which is this mini CPM custom node to display the text. And this is going to be interacting with the Quen VL custom nodes. And these custom nodes are able to display normally by these Quen 2 VL custom nodes because maybe that's the same developers and other text displayed custom nodes. I couldn't get it working right with this custom node, so I just used a whole set of it from this developer. Right here we got the display text, and as you can see, I load an image, which is a cake, and just tell it to describe the details of this image, and remember to select the correct models that you download. In my case, I'm using the 7B, so select 7B, and you got these answers here. This is the display text output correctly in the text box areas. It's showing very clearly that it's described this image in detail. This is a cake and there are some flowers and different colors on top of that. It shows very well. And let's try another example scene here. I got a living room image and I just gave it more freedom to describe the image in detail and let it go through everything. So it shows more detail in the response afterwards. So like this is going to be more detailed than the other two. It shows like every single corner and all kinds of furniture. It described every detail in the image. So I think, you know, we can use the response text like this and play around with the flux text to image. And here's another example. I'm using videos for these language models to run through. And I have asked the model to describe what is in these videos. So basically, this is video captioning. There are a lot of places in the industry that require video captioning. And here's another action scene that are playing through and we can cue prompt and see what we get. And it will take a while for videos to do captioning. And if you just put like what is in the videos in detail, it will show very general answers like this. Just give a brief summary of that few seconds video clip, what's inside the videos, what kind of people, element, colorization, and what kind of actions are in the videos. And if you want to be specific, like for example, I got other fight scenes here. And if, let's say, just go through a very brief text prompt, and again, you will see the difference. And if I try next processing, I will be doing like this, like ask how many people. Um, and as you can see, this is the very brief first run result. It's a very brief summary of the video clips. And after I'm using a more specific question, like, there are multiple characters, and it actually describes in which timeline there are what characters and what actions they're doing in the video scenes. So detail is more precise about what kind of elements are in the video scenes. And I think so far this is providing more details from vision language models compared with, for example, Florence 2 that we have tried before. That is going to be less information provided to you about the image. And this one is more advantageous because it's built to process images and also videos. And that is going to be a lot better for video productions or advertisement video ads like us. There's a lot of time, you know, in a lot of industries we need video captioning. And this is a job before this kind of visual language AI model created. So I think it will affect how we work and what will looks like in the job market. So that is it for this video. And I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.